Hi, it's Brad. Let me uh, recap real quick. If you're seeing our video, this one particularly for the first time, what we do is uh, we're doing lots of things with craft sticks and building for engineering, but uh, for popsicle stick bridges. So what we're doing is we're supersizing that whole popsicle stick bridge building engineering theme. And we are throwing out the sticks and we're doing uh, concrete and miniature rebar uh, bridge building. And uh, we make our own rebar and then we buy this cement all from Home Depot and we, uh, we mix it with water, which is another story here in a minute. But uh, these containers that you see here were um, syrup containers, which are on another video, which I can't bend down to show you where it is. But what we do is we, we take uh, like plastic bottles, uh, pot bottles, and we uh, cut the top off, and then we pour the cement all inside, and then um, we drop in our rebar, and then we make miniature concrete pillars. This particular pillar, let me see if I can do this. There it goes, the cars. This particular pillar was a Nestle's Quick Chocolate plastic container. And those over there were um, pop bottles or water bottles of some kind. What we have here are two syrup containers, which on the next video when I strip this off, you'll see clearer. But we have uh, found a styrofoam form. Uh, this one, this form, when we poured this concrete was a different kind of form. You just have to be creative in building your forms. This one happens to be styrofoam, which will make a good form. So then we, we lay in our rebar, which we make. And then this rebar here, it came out of the uh, syrup plastic container, which we poured concrete in. Then we strip the plastic away. And what we're left with is a kind of a miniature uh, concrete pillar like you'd find in real life. And then we uh, lay in our rebar. And we tie it with uh, plastic zip ties. And we, we make the rebar out of uh, wire ties, wire, rebar, wire tie. Um, here's some other material right there that we've poured. This one is from Skinny Cow. Those were ice cream, uh, some kind of ice cream uh, treat. I'm not sure what those were, but these will be like foundations for new bridges. And this is an arch bridge that we bent some yard sticks for and poured those on a piece of plywood as a form. But let me show you what we're going to do. I've mixed up, bear with me here, I've mixed up some of that cement all. And you want to mix it up pretty good. Uh, be cautious not to use too much water like I did and then I had to make more than I needed. If you do make more, you know, you could pour it into another, another form. But you want to break up the concrete balls. Uh, they're kind of all, you want it nice and smooth so the concrete flows well. And then just... You know, we're pretending like, whoops, tilt, we have accident going on already. Let me get the handle. Sorry. So, you know, we're pretending like we're a concrete truck. But there goes a big glob. Okay. Excuse me for a second. Okay. So we got our concrete in there. What they're going to want to do is spread that around. Looks like we still have maybe a little bit more we could do. Yeah. Stand by one moment, please. We'll pour a little more in there. Okay. Here we go. Sorry about that. 
So once it's in there, you want to kind of spread it around. Drag, poke, shake. And what that's going to do, as this sets up, it'll get the air bubbles out. Just like that. Pretty soon the air bubbles will start to come out. And just pull the extra off. Just drag the extra. Now one thing I'm noticing, the concrete that I have this set on is sloped for the water to run off of, the real concrete. Well, what that's doing is it's making my concrete on this side, you know, as it's self-leveling, it's starting to get thicker over the edge here and under the form on this side because it's, it's self-leveling itself. Too many selfs in there. But you might want to consider the levelness of your, of your form and where you're pouring because it's going to take on the same shape and levelness of your the table or like for me where the, uh, the concrete is not level that I'm pouring it on. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this set up. I'll poke at it a little bit more. But then you just you just want to leave it for a little bit. And when it sets up all hard tonight, actually tomorrow, we'll um, break away the uh, styrofoam and expose our concrete miniature bridge. And uh, mostly these videos I'm doing are for engineering type classes. I want to kind of help steer them away from the popsicle stick bridges that we make today in engineering classes. Kind of supersize the thought pattern to get them to do more concrete and a little more advanced projects. Um, also, I just have a lot of fun doing them. You can find my work at craftstickbending.com, other engineering type things we're doing with wood, uh, craftstickcrafts.com, craftstickcrafts YouTube, which most likely this video is posted on. So keep an eye on us. We're uh, trying to think outside the box here on these projects. And the next video I'll show you what this turned out to be uh, once the, conc the concrete form is gone. Thanks. Bye.